WSBT first at four. With the holidays just around the corner, some are giving thanks for all the restaurants that will be open on Thanksgiving Day. South Bend Tribune columnist Heidi Prescott joins us today with some advice if you're looking to eat out this Thursday, or next Thursday, I guess it is. Hi, Heidi. You know, you've been making calls to some of those local restaurants all this week. What are you finding? Hi, Jennifer. You know, most restaurants that have been open in the past will be open again this Thanksgiving. Not all day, but usually for several hours. The Skillet in South Bend, Honkers, in Mishawaka, they'll serve several hundred diners on Thanksgiving with holiday buffets. And then other restaurants will feature smaller special menus. That's what you'll find at restaurants like Ruth's Chris and Carriage House. We posted a list on our website. Okay, so let's talk about reservations for just a moment. How important is it to make a reservation? Will you still be able to find a table without one? Yeah, boy, I wouldn't risk it. Reservations are required at many restaurants, and if they aren't still, I would call ahead. You don't want to risk a long wait or the chance of not being seated. And restaurants really don't want to rush anyone on Thanksgiving. Yeah, good advice there. So if you're ordering a take-home dinner, when's the cutoff to do that? You know, generally speaking, Tuesday morning, really at the latest. Grocery stores like Martin Supermarkets, restaurants like Cracker Barrel, they get hundreds of orders. And they need at least 48 hours notice to have your meal ready for pickup on Thanksgiving morning. All great to know, Heidi. Thanks so much. And Heidi, we cannot let you go without taking a moment to say thank you to you for bringing us these weekly Market Basket Minute reports. We know you're leaving us for, uh, and also the South Bend Tribune for another career opportunity. It has been so great working with you. We are going to miss you. We know our viewers are going to miss you, and also your readers and uh, all of these reports is so going to be missed. Thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate it. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to be on here. And, you know, I'm going to see you out shopping. Yes, you are. <laughs> Heidi, thank you so much, as always. And you can read the latest in retail and restaurant news in her final column that will appear in Sunday's South Bend Tribune and at southbendtribune.com.